Students, you are getting pretty skilled because this is mixed media level D, which means you have been able to do level A, B, and C. So let's take a look at our media sheet and see what we're going to be learning. Okay. So we're looking at mixed media skill level D. I can make a 3D form using wire. I can make a wire piece that is sturdy. I can attach three pieces of wire together. I can attach the wire to a base. Oh, and there's another one. I can make textures or details with the wire. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go to our uh, sketchbook page. And in our sketchbook page, we are of course writing our name, our name. We are then going to circle mixed media center level D. Next, I'm gonna write a number one and I'm gonna plan out my art. I wanna keep my plan relatively simple. This one's kinda complex. And I want to make sure it's all one line. So as you follow this here, you will see that this is all one line. Look at how my hair connects to my eye, connects to my nose. Even then, that connects down to my mouth. So it all has to be connected together. Then I'm ready to start. You might have different kinds of wire available to you. It might look like this, or it might look like this, but it's all relatively the same. What I do is I go ahead and start my plan. So I'm gonna start at this eyeball and I just make what I see. So I have that this loops around a couple of times. I have that it comes down. I have my nose here and then, oh, I'm out of wire. To attach two pieces of wire together, I'm gonna do contrasting colors so you can see. I'm gonna first make an X. I'm then I'm gonna take one part of the X and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna twist it around so that's going around that other piece of wire. I now need to do that on the other side. I'm gonna take this side and I'm gonna twist it around. And if I made my X big enough and did enough twisties when I pull, yep, that's really stuck together. Okay, so I make my nose and then I make my mouth and then Miss Russ already started this piece right here, so I'm gonna twisty tie these together. This rest is gonna go fast to keep her video short. I'm gonna twisty tie this together. Okay, then I gotta twisty tie these together. Now yours is gonna look like mine. It's gonna kinda be a hot mess, and you're gonna be like, Miss Russ, I don't see any of my drawing, like I can barely see it. I can see there's an eyeball here and here and there's theoretically a nose and a mouth. Oh, <sighs> what do I do? It's also really big. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to take your wire and you're gonna twisty tie it together. So I twisted all of my hair, okay? Now, I'm gonna go down here to where the eyes are and I'm gonna twisty tie my eyes. So I twisted and I twisted. Okay, and I'm gonna put them where I want. And you're gonna notice my thing starts to get smaller. I'm gonna go to where my mouth is and I'm gonna twisty tie that together. Twisty, twisty. And you gotta do it a couple of times to get it to go. I'm gonna reform my nose here. Reform my nose and then I'm gonna twisty tie that together. Okay, after you do some twisty ties, you'll notice that your sculpture is starting to look a little bit better and that it's starting to get more sturdy. If it still feels wiggly, then that's a sign you need more twisty tying and more compressing. You know, if something feels too big, you just, the beauty of wire is you squish it and you wiggle it, you can even double it. If you're like, oh, I have too much wire here, you can just double it in on itself and make less wire. Okay, and you're gonna, it should start to get lots, lots smaller the more you work with it and play with it and you're gonna try and make it so it's 3D. Okay, I have one that I've already been twisty tying, twisty tying. So this started pretty big and I kept twisty tying, twisty tying. I even added a tongue to mine. Now I have to take it, oh, there's our band instruments, and I have to make a, it a be a baby, Blah, blah. make it able to attach to a base 
so that it can stand up. Yep, it can stand up. It can wiggle a little bit, but it shouldn't fall over. If it tries to fall over, I need to add more wire. Then in my sketchbook, I'm gonna draw out what I made. And if possible, I'm gonna put what I made in my sketchbook, but before I flatten it, I need to show my teacher. Cause remember, I have to make it so that it is, where are we, 3D. Okay, with that art students, wire is a lot of fun. And whenever it feels like too much chaos, the trick is to just keep twisty tying and bending it so that the wire slowly gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And that is what will make a very interesting and curious 3D art piece. Happy art making. Bye.